Hey guys, we're back with another educational video. And in this week, I want to talk about a question I get a lot. And that is, can you gain muscle while dieting? And I, along with many others, uh, for a long time said that the answer to this was no. Um, when I was younger, I can remember being posting on bodybuilding message boards and my line I would always use was, to build muscle, eat in a caloric surplus. To lose fat, eat in a caloric deficit. One cannot be in a surplus and deficit simultaneously. So I remember this was always the line I used for, for, for logic. But you know, it's just like something like fasted cardio. You know, we, we have this idea that, all right, well, if we do cardio faster, we're gonna burn more fat. And it sounds right, it sounds like it should work, it makes logical sense. But then when you look at the research data, it actually doesn't hold up. And that's exactly what happened here. So. There actually is research to show that yes, you can lose body fat and gain muscle at the same time. Now, it's in specific circumstances. There's, there's three different circumstances where this can happen and I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, one is you're new to training, okay? So there was a study done by Dr. Stu Phillips uh, recently where they took untrained men, they were physically active but not resistance trained. They had them resistance trained and either eat a higher di protein diet or lower protein diet. And the group on the high protein diet that resistance trained actually gained a little bit of lean body mass. All right. Um, now keep in mind that is probably because the training response to somebody who is new is so powerful and the adaptation to training is so powerful that you're literally uh, repartitioning calories. So the calories you're eating are, are, are going to um, building that muscle. And further, the calories you are liberating by dieting, losing fat, are going to spare uh, more calories towards muscle building. So just be sparing protein towards muscle building. And they, they were able to show this. It was actually a pretty significant amount of muscle mass. I think it was like a, a kilo of lean body mass or a ki one or two kilos of lean body mass over the course of uh, a few months. So now, would they have gained more muscle in a caloric surplus? We can't say for sure, but I would say most definitely. Um, I would be very confident that they would gain more muscle in a caloric surplus. However, because the training response is so overwhelming for somebody who's new, remember we call those newbie gains, uh, that a caloric deficit, at least a slight caloric deficit, you know, like where you would lose uh, one or two pounds a week, is not going to completely inhibit muscle gain. It probably attenuates it a little bit, it does not inhibit it. So you can gain muscle while, while losing fat if you are untrained. Another situation where you could gain muscle mass while, uh, while losing fat is if you're very, very overweight, if you're very obese, all right? The reason being is that um, signaling doesn't work quite the same way when you're that heavy, you know, if you're 30, 40% body fat. Um, because you have such a large reservoir of calories, that is your adipose tissue, your body fat, that it's not going to signal the same kind of deficit as if you were a pretty lean person near your body fat set point and then you were throwing a caloric deficit on top of that, okay? So if you had 30, 40% body fat, you've got all this you know, stored uh, source of calories and you begin dieting, well, I mean, there's even research to show that people who are very obese can go uh, I think one particular individual went almost like a whole year without eating. There was a case study where this really obese person went like, I think it was almost a whole year without eating. Now he, he did lose lean body mass, but the point was he didn't die. And the reason being is he had such a large reservoir of calories to, to use. And so with that being said, there is studies that show that people who are obese, who resistance train and diet still gain lean body mass while dieting. Now the one other instance where you can gain, that I can think of, that you can gain lean body mass while dieting is obviously if you're on anabolic steroids or some kind of other illicit anabolic agent. Again, you're talking about kind of 
overriding the body's own processes. So if you're on an illicit anabolic, you know, some kind of steroid, whatever, um, that is going to be such a potent anabolic stimulus that it's going to override and kind of partition those calories that you're eat consuming more towards muscle building. Okay. So in fact, it probably actually, now that I think of it, enhances the uh, absolute fat loss as well because you're putting those calories more towards muscle building, less likely for fat. So I think we've all seen this. I mean, in terms of anecdotally, uh, there's a lot of uh, professional bodybuilders, professional untested bodybuilders who say, oh yeah, like I actually, um, I grow into a show, right? Well, I don't want to speak for everybody in particularly, but I know that based on some of the uh, competitors I've talked to who compete in the untested organizations, uh, a lot of times what they do is they completely will go off um, drugs or they will go to kind of a, a minimal level of drugs during the off season so that their bodies can recover. And then they will ramp up into a show. So it makes sense that they could be dieting, losing body fat and gaining muscle because that's when they're really kind of blasting themselves. Now, I don't recommend this. <laughs> it's not what I do. And, uh, you know, I am always going to encourage people to, uh, I'm not anti steroid. I just would consider myself pro natural. I don't want to go on a big diatribe about that, but you know, I, I would encourage anybody if you want to be natural and stay natural, then I would encourage competing without drug usage. But for those who do, yes, you can build muscle while dieting. Uh, well, the last group of people, so I said three, there's actually four. Uh, it's any combination of the three I just mentioned, right? So if you're <laughs> very obese, new to training, and you're on steroids, you can probably build a lot of muscle while dieting, all right? Uh, but mostly what, what I would see a lot of happening is people who are new to training, who are also obese, they tend to gain quite a bit of weight, uh, or sorry, quite a bit of muscle while dieting. And this is why sometimes it's tough to track progress objectively for people who are very obese. One, because their measurements fluctuate a lot because you know a 2% a, a error on somebody with a 45 inch waist is like quite a bit more than a 2% error on somebody who has a 30 inch waist, right? So one is six, the other is nine. Right? Like there's a big difference in error level if that's what you're, you're reading, um, what you're reading. So they can tend to fluctuate a lot, even if you're doing measurements, even if you're doing weight, right? Because a 1% weight fluctuation on somebody who is 300 pounds is three pounds, whereas a 1% weight fluctuation on somebody who's 180 pounds is 1.8 pounds, right? So even their fluctuations are bigger. And then you throw in the fact that they can gain muscle and lose fat, well, they, their weight may not be dropping at all. They may be actually gaining some weight or staying the same and dropping body fat. So it can be hard to track those things. So I think this is something to consider for people who are, if you're just getting into weight training, that if you don't see that scale drop for the first few weeks and you're in kind of a mild caloric restriction, uh, don't panic, you know, it may even be a good month or two before the scale really starts dropping as you get those newbie gains and you start to adapt to the training stimulus. So don't get discouraged, be consistent with it. But the moral of the story is, uh, yes, you can build muscle while dieting, but it's a select group of people. Uh, for those of us who are natural uh, and advanced trainers who have been doing this for a while, who are not obese, um, you're not going to build muscle while dieting. In fact, you're probably going to lose muscle while dieting. In fact, I just got done taking a look at all the uh, natural bodybuilding case studies in existence. And what they show is you lose about 30% of your lean body mass when you diet. Um, or sorry, you lose about 30% of the weight you lose while dieting is lean body mass. So if you lost 10 kilos, about three kilos is going to be lean body mass. Now, a lot of people will look at that and go, oh my God, you're, I'm going to lose three kilos of muscle. Lean body mass is not the same thing as muscle. Okay. Lean body mass encompasses all non-fat tissues. So that includes, but not limited to 
bone, skin, hair, <laughs> like uh, organ weights, heart, you know, everything, and literally everything that's not fat. Now muscle, skeletal muscle is a big component of that, right? But it's not the only component of that. And also a big component of lean body mass is water. You can go, you can do this. If you go get a DEXA done, go do a DEXA, then down a gallon of water real fast, do the DEXA again, and you will have more lean body mass the second time because water registers on a DEXA and any other measurement system as lean body mass. So if, okay, let's say you did lose 10 kilos, three kilos of which was lean body mass. Two thirds of that is water because lean body mass is about two thirds fluid, okay? And you'd only lost about one kilo of actual tissue. And again, not all that's muscle. There's liver, there's uh, intestinal weight. Like actually your GI tract shrinks a little bit when you diet because you're, think about it, you're using those smooth muscles less, okay? You're using your GI less. Your liver is a large reservoir of amino, uh, 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 can liberate amino acids and glycogen. It can shrink in weight. Uh, again, glycogen, another thing you can lose. So you can lose quite a bit of water and tissue from things that aren't muscle. Probably the best way to judge if you've lost muscle during a diet is to uh, look at your relative strength, okay? So based on the weight you lost, did you maintain your relative strength? And you could do like a Wilkes calculation to, to examine this. Um, but if you maintained your relative strength, you can be relatively confident that you didn't lose much muscle. So hopefully this has given you guys a better idea of when you can lose fat and still gain muscle, when you can uh, lose muscle and fat. You know, I don't, I think the important thing to point out is it's very individual dependent where you are in your training career, uh, how much body fat you carry, and obviously whether or not you're natural or not. All those things can have a big impact on if you can gain muscle and how much, and if you can't, whether you maintain it or lose some, and if so, how much. So as we can see with these natural bodybuilding case studies, most of them were in pretty advanced natural bodybuilders who were, were, again, were natural. And I mean, you can see it's hard to maintain all your lean body mass when you're natural and you're dieting to get that lean. And that's one more point I wanna bring up. You can probably maintain almost all your muscle if you're doing a short cut and you're not going that far below your body fat set point. But if you're dieting down to extreme levels of low body fat, the further down you get in body fat level, the, the greater proportion your mass that you lose is going to be lean body mass because your body is going to be fighting you more and more to keep that body fat and keep it closer to the body fat set point. So again, if you want to get contest lean and you're not on drugs, you're probably going to have to lose some lean body mass. But if you're just looking to look good and shed a few pounds, uh, you can probably do that and maintain most of your muscle. And if you're, like I said, new to training or on steroids or obese, you can probably lose some pounds, get leaner, and not lose any muscle at all, maybe even build some. All right, guys, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.